So this rather nondescript Dyson box houses a $700 Dyson TPO7, which is their air purifier cooler unit. So I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna show you, or I'm gonna try to show you if it's really worth $700. Dyson must be saving money because they just have this in a non-Dyson box, but here is what the unit looks like inside the box. And this is gonna be that TPO7, how it comes assembled. So these are the parts of your machine. You have your remote, the amplifier loop, otherwise known as the exhaust, <laughs> the shroud, the shroud release, the buttons, the LCD, the filters. I do like some of the cool features like changing direction and the overall beauty of the Dyson. I really gotta say the Dyson is a good looking air purifier. And if you're a big fan of the oscillation, this can go 350 degrees. But is that enough to make it better than a TPO2 or a TPO4? And just like the Shark Sense IQ, which is gonna be for an air purifier that might be 150 all the way to $300, this can read one, 2.5, and 10 micron sizes in color with a graph. But honestly, you might be wondering what is the difference between a TPO7 and a TPO4? Even though they look pretty much the same size, even though they look pretty much that they do the same thing outside of having the sensors. So let's talk about the air purification. What Dyson is saying about the TPO7 is that it has 50% better air purification over the TPO4, the TPO1, the TPO2, because it has a sealed filter. So let's open it up and I'll show you what I mean. So here, let me just open up our Dyson. This is our 07, TPO7. Take off the covers and here is the first filter. This is gonna be our TPO2 Wi-Fi and we're gonna pop that open and we could take it off. And if we take this out, I know it's not gonna split into two, but that's the filter. And you can see that the design between the two is not all that different, right? Not all that different. And you can see how this, because it doesn't have the ability to adjust the direction of the fan, it's just a pretty clean piece, right? You see? You can just see the air will get through the turbine, through the air filter, and it just goes up here and it's gonna be sent out bladeless. And that's the whole point of this design. It's that it's bladeless. So I don't see a way to remove the top, which means cleaning it is gonna be a little bit more difficult. Now, this is gonna be the filter on the previous model. Well, first thing you gotta know is that all of the air purification happens in the filter. So when Dyson is saying that their unit here is 50% more or better air purification than the TPO4 or the TPO2, that just means that the filter is 50% better than the previous filter. And you can also see that this filter is sealed and that's the main benefit here. And that because it is sealed, there's less contamination and the output air quality is gonna be better because there's less air coming out that's mixing in with the clean air at the end. The combination filter has also been redesigned from the filter you might get on a TPO4. The filter is better, and what Dyson is also saying is that this unit here is 20% quieter than a TPO4. However, as an owner of a TPO4, I've been tested it and testing the two and all the other Dysons, most of us will not notice it because on auto mode, they all sound pretty quiet. And the other thing about quietness is that it's all relative for air purifiers. So, this might be quiet because I'm putting it on level one, level two, which is on the lowest setting. But honestly, because the filters are small, right? You gotta look at the filters here. These filters are not big. Let me show you a filter on a Levoit Core 600S, right? So I'm gonna open up the Levoit 600S. I'll show you what a filter here looks like. And this filter is for a room close to about 500 square feet. And I use mine so you can see what it looks like, even used. So look at the size comparison here. Now, I'm gonna take it one step further. This is my 900 square foot Allen 75. And you can see this is crazy. Now, this has a filter that normally costs about $120 every time, and I'd have to replace this every year. But this filter is this thick, right? This weighs close to five pounds because there's that much charcoal filter. This also captures uh, chemicals, volatile organic compounds, but it's so heavy that it's even ripping the strap to it. So look at the thickness, right? You guys look at that thickness. This is just to show you what you get for your money relative to other filters. Take that off. 
And this is a normal standard filter on the high-end machines that you see, like this Allen here. And the filters are really where all the filtration happens, so that's why we use the Allen, because the machine is quiet, but we got these filters. And this is on a Lavoie, right? You guys can see the size. This is the Dyson. So which one would be better for a large room? So like, I'm telling you, refresh rate of every 12 minutes, this is probably great for a room up to about 600, 700, maybe, yeah, 700 square feet. They're listing the Dyson for rooms that go up to like, what, four, 500 square feet? But the refresh rate there is gonna be like every 30 minutes, 45 minutes. So in realistic world, this Dyson, the TPO7, is for a room closer to 300, 400 square feet, maybe a 20 by 20. So that's gonna be a standard living room. This is also gonna be quieter. The Lavoit that you see here, and we'll do a, you can guys see the side by side. That's the Lavoit, and that's on the Dyson. And the Lavoit is, just compare it to the Lavoit filter. I'm gonna show you something crazy. If you compare this side by side, and I put it on top, the filter is bigger than the base of your TP-07. So let me repeat that. The filter for the Lavoit 600S with all the same features as the Dyson, except for the AQI meter, is gonna have uh, the same features as your Dyson. Now here, this is using even uh, more advanced for small particles, like they have like a pet filter screen almost. So Dyson makes a number of different filters that you can get. So this is gonna be the filter for your TP-07. You're like, how much is it gonna cost me? So 360 combi glass HEPA and carbon air purifier filter. $79.99 for the replacement. They also say that you wanna replace it on an annual basis. However, if you wanna replace this on an annual basis, you'll find that you have to replace it much more often than annually. So really, because of the size here, you're gonna be replacing this probably every six months, eight months. And I have a TP02, and I can tell you, you're definitely replacing that every six to eight months, not every year. It just gets too full. And remember, it is $79.99 if you get it from Dyson. And there's no real easy way to make adjustments without the remote or the app. And that's another limitation here. You can't really do much because it only comes with one button. And that's something that Dyson made as a design choice. You look at other units and this is on that Lavoie, you can see that this will come with all the buttons right on the display. Same thing on other units like the Allen here. So just for comparison, let me turn this on. I'm gonna let you hear what it sounds like. So there's that 2.5 micron particle size. So the secret of any of these large room air purifiers is that you just have to use it on the lowest setting and it will have similar power to this Dyson on a higher setting. So I would say that level one here is moving just about the same amount of air that you would get maybe close to level five on the Dyson. So just to repeat what happens when you press airflow, if you reverse the airflow, the air is actually gonna come out through these ports on the sides here. So it comes out through these ports, so more like an exhaust. And if you want it directional, that's when you can update it. So out of the box, it's gonna be forward facing, right? It's gonna, all the air is gonna come out through these ports. Now, if you press change direction, so we're gonna stop the oscillation. If you press stop, uh, change direction, the air is coming out of here now. So it's coming out of the sides. So here is the app. You want to log in and let's log in. It's found it, the Dyson Purifier Cool. We want to press the power machine, power button. So we're just going to press it here. And it is going to be pairing. And you can see everything. 68 degrees, it has 50% relative humidity. You have good volatile organic compound. You can scroll up or down. That's gonna give you a readout of your air quality over a certain amount of time. That's the 2.5, that's the 10, VOC, NO2. Inside the app, it records, records the 2.5 and 10 micron sizes. There is no one micron size here, even though on the side of your device, it says one to 10 micron size readout. The virtual remote really mirrors the standard remote and all the functionality and what it can do.
Ultimately, do I recommend the TP07? I like the looks, right? I think it's a really beautiful unit. The sensors work well. The air multiplier is cool. It can change directions. But the question is, should you get the TP07? Because the TP07 looks cool. It has this soft touch material. From a design perspective, it is basically the gold Dyson V15 or their new stick vacuum. But what is it not? It is not an air purifier for really large rooms. What else is it not? It is not an air purifier that's going to be able to be quiet all the time. Because if you put this in a large room, you have to run it at a higher fan speed. Because you see those figures, 99.97% of pollutants up to a 2.5 micron size are going to get captured here. Yes. But then you look at other HEPA filters, all of them are 99.9% capturing most particles up to that 2.5 micron size. What the Dyson is doing is that they're more targeting the volatile organic compounds and you know things like benzene and nitrous nitrogen dioxide but then you can get a different unit like the allen that have filters that are going to target those as well and those filters last a year an entire year i'm telling you you get these filters it says one year but you're going to replace them every six to nine months they're saying this is 50 percent more effective at cleaning the air than the tpo4 or the tpo2 but that's all in the filter that is all the filter. It's not in the unit. It's just a little bit quieter with the slight redesign in terms of the material used and a big bump in price because the TP07 costs you $650 MSRP. I know that we might see this on sale closer to $400, $500, and even at that price, it is still very expensive because the Allen that I showed you, the Lavoit that I showed you, this TP07, uh, this TP02, you know, all the other air purifiers we test. Even the best, most expensive ones nowadays are in that $300 range. And if you pay five, $600, those units are coming with like six filters and come with every auto mode, every Wi-Fi. They're so industrial. And they, some of them even have humidification. Because if you're paying that kind of money, you're expecting the best results. Because that's a lot of money for an air purifier for one single room. Because I understand that this works. I understand that it looks good. And I understand that when people come over, they always feel like, oh, those are so cool. I love them. I've had them for a long time. There's a reason why I love Dyson's and I review Dyson's because they are premium. It's like reviewing a Lexus over a Toyota. A Toyota is still great, but the Lexus is going to be more high end. But the TP07 is not a Lexus. This is much more like getting a Mercedes S Class. You don't need all those features. It still does the same thing as the E Class. Maybe it's a little bit bigger, it's a different material. But do you want to pay all that premium for basically the same thing? That's the question. So with that, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment box below. And please hit that like or subscribe button because it really does help support our channel. And I'll catch you next time. This is Dave with the French Glow signing off. Bye, bye, bye.